everybody welcome to my channel special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel so today we're gonna be talking about my hair routine for when I style my hair straight my hair is naturally very curly and damaged so sometimes I do straighten it because I just prefer it that way I know I have a lot of self-hatred going on with my curls it comes and goes I grew up with parents that hated seeing me with curly hair they just thought it was the worst even though I got my curly hair from them so I like to use a nice sulfate shampoo when it comes to having my hair styled straight just so it helps remove all the buildup that I might have from my curly hair product. So I'll either use the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Shampoo or I will use a good Shea Moisture one. My personal favorite is from Hask. It's their smoothing shampoo. I, I feel like it gives me a high amount of shine and it lathers really well. It just helps clean my hair while still maintaining a level of first free styling to it if you know what I mean. So I'll apply that all over particularly with my scalp and I will just start uh, massaging it in. I like to use a shampoo brush. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm just very tender headed so I will go in with my hands if I am feeling like doing the work myself but um i'm just very tender-headed you know when you go to the salon and they wash your hair and they do like a massage on your scalp i always feel bad because i like that they're going that extra bit of effort in order to give me a good service but i feel bad because i want to really just say <laughs> no scalp massages just because it, it really hurts me like i think they think it feels good but on my scalp whew, it's a pain so once i lather it with my shampoo brush i will rinse it off i try to do this the quickest as possible just because i want to have maximum amount of time in the shower to have my conditioner in my hair so once i've completely rinsed off the shampoo i will move on to the conditioner or the hair mask here's where it gets tricky for me though because too much of a moisturizing hair mask and my hair will get weighed down and it won't straighten properly particularly in the room area so when I'm choosing a conditioner or a hair mask I need to be very careful not to put too much because I am someone who just puts globs and globs or I'll start off small and then I'll be like nah I need a little bit more I need a little bit more so when it comes to conditioner I really only put it from here down any more than that and I just run the risk of it being too greasy and I won't realize it till I'm sitting here with my hair dry trying to straighten it out I want to make sure I really rinse my hair but I also like to squeeze out any excess water I don't like it to be soaking wet when I apply the mask I just don't want the hair mask to slip right off when I'm applying it and then apply the hair mask so for conditioner I will either use the, the little hask smoothing masks they come in a little envelope or I will use a hair mask from Eva NYC or or this Mori hair mask that was gifted to me a couple months ago the deep conditioner always kind of rotates I don't like to stick to the same thing especially because I'm always reviewing different products for this channel once I've chosen it it's gonna go from here down and then for the rest of the shower I'm going to focus on doing other things like a body scrub wash shaving all of that stuff I, I want to leave the hair mask on my hair for as long as possible but if you struggle with acne on your back I wouldn't recommend that because that conditioner is gonna slide down your back it's never been an issue for me I don't really break out and I always follow up by soaping up my body one more time after I've rinsed my conditioner so I like to keep the conditioner on for as long as possible like I said also while the hair mask is on my hair I'm gonna detangle with the wet brush this just helps get any knots out without hurting my scalp like I said or tugging at my hair too much so once I've completely rinsed out the hair mask, I'll do a quick couple of seconds of a cold rinse of just my head because otherwise I'll be freezing. I really like hot showers. I was never like that until my fiance put me onto it. Once I'm done with the shower, I'm just gonna towel dry my hair. If I'm styling a curly, I'll use a microfiber towel. If I'm doing it just straight, I don't really care, don't really notice any added frizz by using a towel, like a normal towel. And I'll try to let it air dry as much as possible. I don't like having to put blow dryer and the straightener on my hair like I just feel like it's too much heat once I let it air dry for as long as possible which honestly takes a couple hours I will begin the straightening process which is super simple I just section off my hair and I'll either use a straightening brush this is from Amazon or I will use my babyless uh, straightener I actually have two straighteners from babyless the first one was just too small like the plates just don't straighten my hair as quickly nor does it come out in my opinion as nicely I generally do better with straighteners that have a wider plate so I recently redeemed all of my Ulta points to get this bad boy right here and I absolutely love it I, I think it makes my hair super straight I will say I didn't need it to be all the way up to 450 I feel like sometimes it does get a little bit too hot for my hair which is really interesting because I used to only be able to straighten my hair at the hottest level possible but now I definitely go down to like 300 or something I love the straightener I think it's definitely worth it and I also have their blow dryer as well so that's interesting and I did buy all this with my own money of course none of this is sponsored so yeah I straightened my hair and 
and then I blow dry my bangs I do have to do that unfortunately but that's a recent addition like I, I didn't I haven't had bangs since I was a little kid I just got them recently and I've been trying to style them because I liked how they looked when I first got them done and not how they look now but you know what we just gotta roll with the punches I'm still trying to decide whether I should keep the bangs for my wedding or not or just grow out my hair let me know I should do I should make a poll on Instagram for that but let me know right now bangs for the wedding or no bangs I'm thinking no bangs at this point. Anyway, if you made it to the end of my hair care routine video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will link all relevant products and videos down below. And until next time, bye.